Three high school friends, Andrew, Matt, and Steve, stumble upon something extraordinary one evening. Living in Seattle, Andrew's life isn't a walk in the park. His mother is sick, his father is abusive, and at school, he's the target of bullies. Trying to make sense of his surroundings, Andrew starts filming his daily life with a video camera. One day, after a party, Steve finds something strange in the woods and calls Matt and Andrew over to investigate. The three of them discover a large, mysterious hole in the ground. Curiosity gets the better of them. They find a glowing crystal. The camera captures weird interference. And the next thing we know, the footage goes black. Post this encounter, the trio starts to exhibit strange abilities. They can move objects with their minds, a power often termed as telekinesis. It begins with playful experimentation, like moving Lego blocks or pranking people in supermarkets. As days pass, their strength grows. They can fly, withstand physical harm, and their bond as friends strengthens too. However, with great power comes responsibility, and the initial joy of discovering their new abilities slowly gives way to the complexities of human emotion and ego. Andrew, in particular, struggles. While he initially enjoys the popularity and control that his powers bring, the pressures at home and school continue to weigh him down. Matt and Steve, sensing the potential dangers of their newfound abilities, make a pact to set some ground rules. Don't use the powers against living beings and never use them when angry. But Andrew's emotional state deteriorates, and he begins to break these rules. A turning point comes when Steve, after trying to help Andrew, is struck by lightning and dies. This tragic event deeply impacts Andrew and drives a wedge between him and Matt. Consumed by grief and guilt, Andrew's actions become more unpredictable and violent. He starts using his powers to take revenge on those who've wronged him, including defending himself against his abusive father and confronting bullies. Matt, seeing his cousin's downward spiral, tries to intervene, but the clash between the two becomes inevitable. The confrontation reaches its climax in the heart of Seattle. Buildings are damaged, cars are thrown, and chaos ensues as the two battle each other with their superhuman abilities. Matt, with a heavy heart, realizes he has to stop Andrew to protect others. In the epic showdown, Matt manages to overpower Andrew, leading to a heart-wrenching decision. To save the city and its inhabitants, Matt has no choice, even if it means fatally harming him. The film concludes with Matt traveling the world, carrying Andrew's camera. He speaks to it, apologizing to his fallen cousin, promising to use his powers for good and hoping to find answers to why they were given such abilities in the first place.